one zero. -oh. Number hard. ten. Number ten. <laughs> To the channel our friends at galpin autosports steve and eric are coming by with their enclosed trailer to pick up orange car because they're going to do some shaking down this saturday at willow springs we have an event coming up on the 20th of this month so after a proper shakedown this weekend we will have it out on the track and we are going to get some serious lap times with this thing we're going to take the boss across the street steve's going to load it up in the enclosed trailer over there it's a little bit easier we've got quite a bit of a slope coming into our area here so uh, give us one second, we're gonna get it over there. And again, that's how you do it. Wow, look at this trailer. Woo! That truck right there tows beautifully. A 150? Was that a Just flat done. There's a big difference between our aluminum trailer and tow truck and Steve's enclosed trailer and tow truck. The question is, is it worth it? Is a $40,000 enclosed race car trailer worth it? This particular Ford F-250 truck and enclosed trailer setup is actually what Steve uses to deliver Ford GT cars to the new owners. Let's face it, if you're purchasing a Ford GT supercar, then you want it delivered in the nicest, shiniest Ford F-250 pickup truck and a $40,000 enclosed trailer. But is it necessary for the racetrack or for enthusiasts like my father and I? Our aluminum open bed trailer has been working fantastic for us and really we feel spoiled even having a trailer or a method by which to get the boss to the racetrack. But again, is any of this worth it? Is it necessary? No, none of it's necessary. In fact, many people just drive their cars to the track and drive home. No drama, just get the car there, get it back. If you are towing, you're a part of a race team, or you're just a hardcore enthusiast like my father and I, a trailer is actually a really good idea. You can bring extra tools, fuel, and if your car is not street legal, you have a way to get it to the track. However, when my father and I were looking at trailers and enclosed trailers, we thought to ourselves, wow, $40,000 for an enclosed trailer. It may be worth it to some people, and I definitely understand the utility it provides. When considering our resources, my father and I ultimately decided we would rather put that extra money into building a car or maybe being able to purchase a new car for the garage. This is ultimately why we decided on the middle ground of the aluminum floor trailer that we currently use. It is not enclosed, the car is not protected from the elements, and storage space is absolutely minimal. We do have an area to put our E85 fuel containers. We have a small area for tools, but really that's it. Everything else goes in the back of beauty, our 2002 Ford F-150 Super Crew. There are a few things the enclosed trailer provides compared to the open air element trailer. That's what I like to call it, the open air element trailer. The enclosed trailer does provide security for your vehicle, 
your personal items, tools, and anything else that you want to keep hidden out of public sight. Another major benefit is storage space, and I can't stress this enough. We have stuffed our 2002 Ford F-150 Super Crew to its limits with tools, items, personal belongings, and things we need when we go racing. This is probably the most desired attribute of the enclosed trailer. The enclosed trailer also provides shade and shelter from the natural elements. If you're going to a racetrack like Buttonwillow, where there's not a lot of shade and the sun is constantly beating down on you, the enclosed trailers provide canopies or areas to hide from the sun and rest in the shade. When you have an enclosed trailer, the inside of the trailer obviously does not get exposed to the natural elements. Therefore, your aluminum floor stays cleaner longer, the walls, the ceiling, everything stays cleaner longer. One thing we've noticed with our trailer and the aluminum floor or bed of the trailer is constantly being exposed to the sun, creating more wear and tear and creating a need to buff the surface more often. Steve was also telling us a lot of the enclosed trailers that cost $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, $80,000 on up have private bathrooms, sleeping quarters, really they're miniature homes on wheels. The sky is the limit with enclosed trailers. It's a luxury that you don't need, but gosh is it nice. Our non-enclosed trailer has one real benefit that Steve was telling me about, especially when it's windy outside. We live in Southern California, more specifically, Los Angeles County. In order to get to tracks like Buttonwillow Raceway Park, Willow Springs International Raceway, more often than not, when traveling through the grapevine, it is incredibly windy. And Steve has told us these enclosed trailers are very difficult to navigate in very windy situations. So maybe there's one advantage to having a non-enclosed trailer to haul your race car to the racetrack. It's lighter, and more aerodynamic than an enclosed trailer. And one more positive about having a non-enclosed trailer is really cost. Let's say for some miraculous reason, we were able to make the financial jump to get an enclosed trailer that's 40 or $50,000. Even saying, that, saying, that, even saying that out loud sounds unrealistic. If you purchase that trailer, there's no way our 2002 Ford F-150 Super Crew could successfully tow an enclosed trailer over the Great Bond. It's just not gonna happen. As much as I love that 4.6 liter V8, there's just not enough torque in that little engine to pull that enclosed trailer up over the grapevine. We would also have to get a new vehicle or a used vehicle, but that's still a tremendous cost. So even if we spent $30,000, $40,000 on an F-250 and another thirty dollars or $40,000 on an enclosed trailer, you're looking at an investment of over eighty dollars to $100,000 just to get your race car to the racetrack. That is a tremendous, tremendous expenditure. In conclusion, as beautiful and nice as Steve's F-250 truck and enclosed trailer is, it's just not on our to-do list right now. What I'm really worried about is our Boss 302 coming back from the track with an attitude. I mean, it did ride in a $40,000 enclosed trailer to the racetrack for professional shakedown by professional race car drivers. Do you really think our Boss is gonna wanna ride on our trailer again with my father and I driving it? No. Not at all. But you know what? We'll keep our non-enclosed trailer for now and our beautiful F-150 Super Crew that gets our boss to the racetrack. No, you don't need an enclosed trailer or a $100,000 Ford F-250 pickup truck. It would be nice, but you don't need it. Really, you don't need any of this. You just need a car to go racing with. After seeing Steve's trailer, I've been exposed to the wonderful world of enclosed trailers and just how luxurious these things can get. But again, for now, our aluminum non-enclosed trailer will do just fine. And our F-150, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, orange car's loaded up. We're gonna get it home. We're gonna check it over one more time. That was a nice sleepy drive. We got the bass box. The bass box. What am I? The boss is back and we're gonna pull it in. That's how sleepy that drive was. I don't trailer? even know how Thank to talk. You. So